Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to read images in OpenCV and we will also learn how to read videos and webcams using Python. So let's get started. Uh, if you have questions about installations, you can watch the previous video where we discussed how to install OpenCV and Python and PyCharm. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is we will import our library, which is CV2. CV stands for computer vision. Next, we are going to next we are going to load our image, which is img is equals to CV2 dot read. Now this is a function that actually reads the image and all we have to do is give it a string. So in order to declare a string, we will add the quotation and we will type in where our image is. So in this case, we have it in the resources folder. So you can keep it outside as well, uh, right in the main directory, which is OpenCV, but I always recommend to put it in a separate folder like resources. So if you open up resources, you will see we have two, we have two things. One is Lina PNG and the other is testvideo.mp4. So we are going to open up the image Lina and let's see how that works. So we will say resources slash lina.png lina is actually a uh, name of a girl um, lina has been a standard since i think 1970s for image processing uh, tasks so a lot of the tutorials uh, online you will see that they use uh, the same image so we're going to be using the same one so moving on what we need to do is we need to call the function to actually show this image now because this function here will only read the image for showing we have the function again in cv2 we have the function i am show and within that we are going to name our window for example we will say lina and then we are going to define what we are going to show so in our case, we want to show the image IMG image. So <clears throat> now if I run this now, if I go and run it now, you will see something opened up, but it closed right away. If I do it again, you will see it opens up and it closes. So basically the, the program is running, but it's not waiting. It's not displaying us anything. It displays but it closes really fast so we will add a delay we will say cv2 dot wait key and we will add the delay in milliseconds so for example i can say 1000 so it should wait for one second and then it will disappear so if i press run it will show for one second and it will disappear now if we want to do infinity we can write zero and run it again so this time you will see that it will wait for the user to intervene. Otherwise, it will keep on displaying the image. So this is how you can actually import uh, and read an image using OpenCV. But what if we want to see a video or a webcam? Now for the video or a webcam, it's a little bit different because we need a loop. We need something running again and again showing us each frame of that video or the webcam so <clears throat> for that uh, i will raise this part uh, we again have to import our library and then we will declare something as the frame width is equals to something and then we have the frame height is equals to something so let's say we will put this as 640 and we'll put this as 360 you can add any value your camera supports or you can resize it later as well but i recommend whatever your camera supports is what you should use um, so if you are importing a video you will simply declare something known as cap which is your capturing device 
Uh, you can name it anything. We usually call it cop. And then we will use the CB2 library again to actually import our video. So the video can be in form of um, an MP4 file or it can be a webcam. So we will click on video capture and inside we have two options. The first one is to import the video. So we can declare again a string and we can tell this string that our image sources. Okay, our image, uh, our video is in the resources folder. So we will say test video dot mp4. So this way now <coughs> we have declared a function um, th that is video capture that will take the video from our defined location. Next, what we need to do is we need to declare a loop in which we can read each frame of the video. So we will say while while true because we want it to run um, again and again, not up to a certain point to infinity. So we will say success and image is equals to cap dot read. Now what this does is it reads from this cap a frame and then it stores it in this image. Now if it's successful it will declare success as true. If it's not it will declare it as false. So if you want to see if uh, it's able to grab the frame you can check this variable if it's true or false. Next we will say that our image uh, is equals to now if we want to resize the image we can resize it here but um, let, let's not get into it let's uh, show it first cb2 dot i am show and then we will write let's say our video and then we will say that we need to show the image <coughs> So what we will do next is basically adding the delay but this is a while loop it is running continuously so the delay itself is a little bit different and we also need something to break from this loop if we want to quit the application now uh, the code itself is a little bit uh, complicated for this tutorial so i will only show the line of the code but how it works we will discuss further on. So this is what we require to actually run it. So basically we have our delay and we have uh, the function where if we press Q then it will break the loop. So if we run again you will see that the video is not playing. Why is the video not playing? Oh it has to be 1 we will run the video now and you will see that it actually runs our video frame by frame and once it's done it gives us an error because there are no more frames to actually run so the same thing we can do with an actual webcam but instead of writing a string here we just need to write the number of the camera so if it's a default camera it will be zero then you can if you have two cameras it will be one then two and so on so if i run this now let's just run it now and let's see what happens i see the webcam feed now if i move my webcam you can see it's a live stream but we did not define any parameters for this video capturing device we have the frame width and the frame height but we did not use it yet so what we are going to do is we are going to define our frame width and height uh, to our camera so how we can do that is we can go to cap dot set we will say three and then we will say frame frame width and then we will say cap dot set four um, and then we will say frame height 
Now, this 3 and 4, basically, they are numbers uh, set by OpenCV default. Uh, 3 as the width and 4 as the height. So, now we can run again. And we see an error. Now, why did we see this error? The reason is that this dimensionality, this size is not um, acceptable by the camera, the default camera I'm using. So we have to use, if we are setting the parameters of the camera, we have to use something that it can understand. So let's try now. And there you go. So this means my, my camera by default uses 640 by 480. If I do anything else, it might not work. So it has some predefined resolutions. I can use those. But if I want to define my own resolution, I cannot do that directly in the camera parameters. If I want to do that, I will have to resize the image. So let's say we want to capture our video. Let's go back to the video part. And we will say we have resources resources and then we will go to test video dot mp4 we will take this video and we are going to resize it but this time we are not going to resize it here uh, by the way you can press control and backlash uh, backslash to actually comment out so we will do that and what we are going to do is we are going to resize it before showing so we will take our image and we will use the cv2 dot resize function we will use the cv2 dot resize function and we will put image inside it and here we are going to define our frame width and frame height so this way now we can use any resolution that we want for this video for example, if I run this now, you will see this resolution. If I run it, let's try something dramatic, for example, 100. And you will see this is what happens to our video. So if you want to resize, you can use the resize function. Now, if you want to know what each function uh, requires as uh, input arguments, you can right click. Uh, you can press control and you can left click on the function itself so it will tell you all the all the required details uh, of that function and it will also add some extra information that could be useful so it's always useful if you are uh, not familiar with what the function will do you can press control and then you can left click and it will tell you the details of that function that's it for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.